step the f- down because we're going to drag your f- out. We're going to make sure that we vote every single one of you mother f- like you, you stupid f- b- We're going to get you out. Developing tonight, we're hearing the vicious voicemail left behind for a state senator all because she asked the state surgeon general to wear a mask during an office meeting. Tina Polsky says that that wasn't the only death threat she's gotten. She's now calling on the governor to take action. Local 10's Ian Margle is live in Parkland with the disturbing messages. Ian. Senator Polsky has gotten several of these messages. Part The one that you just heard is part of a minute-long profanity-laden tirade that ends with anti-Semitism and a threat basically telling the senator they want her dead. All I have to say is that you're a sorry piece of We don't care that you have cancer. That was a voicemail left for Florida Senator Tina Polsky, one of many she says she's received after telling the state surgeon general to leave her office because he refused to wear a mask. By Sunday of that weekend, we were getting some awful voicemails. You know, I hope you die of your cancer was one of them. Polsky was diagnosed with stage one breast cancer in September. To keep her safe, they implemented a mask rule for her office in Tallahassee, and Polsky says everyone who's visited followed it until the new state surgeon general, Dr. Joseph Latipo, asked for a meeting about two weeks ago. The surgeon general comes with two aides, and I asked him to put on a mask. And he won't. Eventually, she kicked Latipo out. He later released a statement saying he doesn't find having conversations with a mask on to be, quote, productive and that he can't communicate clearly and effectively. Polsky called that a ridiculous excuse, though, and stands by kicking him out. But the messages keep coming. I don't care about your cancer. You go and you huddle with other people without a mask, but then you have a problem with a Republican. You, you piece of you do mother off and die. Now, Polsky is calling for Governor Ron DeSantis, whose wife just announced her own breast cancer diagnosis, to speak up and tell people to cut it out. And he's partaking in this hate and this vitriol. And so I think that he has a responsibility to speak out and tell people to stop this kind of vile behavior. So Polsky says her staff has really done their best to insulate her from these messages, but she says really she's just had to develop a thick skin and she wants the governor to speak about this, to speak out against it as soon as possible. Live in Parkland tonight, I'm Ian Margle, Local 10 News. Ian, thanks a lot.